Welcome to a compilation of some of the most heart-stopping, jaw-dropping NASCAR crashes in history. From incredible flips to devastating impacts, these wrecks showcase the dangers that come with racing at high speeds on some of the world's most challenging tracks. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride through the world of NASCAR crashes. nineteen sixty Daytona modified sportsman race. During a modified sportsman car race in nineteen sixty at Daytona International Speedway, a spectacular wreck took place. It remains the largest wreck in NASCAR history, with thirty seven cars out of the seventy three car field being involved. This record is likely to stand forever since NASCAR no longer permits fields of such magnitude. The most fantastic pileup in auto racing history takes 37 cars out of the race. Despite the enormity of the incident, there were no fatalities or life-threatening injuries, which is remarkable. Lee Petty, 1961 Daytona As a result of this crash, Petty's career came to an end, and he sustained severe injuries, including a crushed chest, punctured lung, fractured collarbone, broken leg, and additional minor injuries. He remained in a coma for several days and spent the next four months in the hospital. In retrospect, Lee Petty described the incident as a simple left turn that resulted in the car going straight. According to Richard Petty, his father's accident was catastrophic. The cars were completely destroyed and there was blood everywhere. When they removed Petty from the wreckage, he appeared lifeless and they were transporting him to the hospital in an ambulance. Richard Petty, 1970, Darlington Richard Petty faced several terrifying wrecks during his extensive career, and this particular crash at Darlington Raceway was one of the worst. In the absence of a head and neck support device, any rollover or flipping accident had the potential to be fatal. Although the Petty family is the most celebrated in NASCAR history, they have been affected by crashes. Lee Petty survived a racing accident that ended his career, but tragically the youngest member of the Petty family was not as fortunate. Adam Petty, Richard's grandson and Kyle's son died in a Bush Series practice at New Hampshire Motor Speedway in 2000. Richard Petty, 1980, Ponico. The severity of the crash was significant enough that Richard Petty almost broke his neck, although the slow motion video somewhat masks the extent of the impact. To avoid being sidelined from racing, Petty decided not to report his injury to NASCAR, and it wasn't until several weeks later that officials became aware of the situation. After the crash, Petty won only eight additional races throughout his career, leading some to speculate that this incident marked the start of his decline as a top-level driver. Bobby Allison, 1987, Talladega The Talladega Super Speedway is notorious for the high speeds that contribute to the danger of cars becoming airborne. In 1987, Bobby Allison's wreck was a catalyst for NASCAR to implement catch fences to enhance fan safety. The video footage depicts the aftermath of Allison's car tearing through the fence at nearly 200 miles per hour, demonstrating how little was left on both the fence and the car. We have a problem. Bobby Allison, the tire. Bobby Allison with a horrible crash here on the front strip. Despite the installation of catch fences, incidents like Carl Edwards' crash continued to occur, resulting in shredded cars after launching into the fence. However, that video will be discussed later. Michael Waltrip, 1990, Bristol, Bush Series Upon watching this video, one may assume that it would be impossible for a human being to survive such a crash. In this incident, Waltrip's car collides head-on with the wall, resulting in one of the most severe impacts in NASCAR history. The vehicle shatters into hundreds of pieces, leaving little hope that Waltrip could survive the wreckage. However, Waltrip managed to survive and went on to win two Daytona 500s. He also established his racing team, defying the odds and demonstrating remarkable resilience after the devastating crash. Rusty Wallace, 1993, Talladega Rusty Wallace experienced one of the most devastating crashes of his career at Talladega Super Speedway, leaving little of his car remaining after it barrel rolled through the infield. As a result of the incident, Wallace suffered a broken wrist. Remarkably, this was not the first time that Wallace had endured such a wreck, as he had experienced a similar incident just two months prior at Daytona. 
Had he not faced these bone-jarring crashes, Wallace may not have won the season title, which he lost to Dale Earnhardt by a mere 80 points. Geoff Bodine 2000 Daytona Truck Series Geoff Bodine's crash at one of NASCAR's fastest tracks is widely considered to be one of the most shocking incidents in the sport's history. The impact of the crash threw him into the fence and ignited multiple fireballs, leading many onlookers to fear the worst for Bodine. Remarkably, Bodine survived the harrowing experience despite the almost complete destruction of his truck. It's gonna hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Though there was very little left of the vehicle once the dust had settled, Bodine would live to race another day. Michael McDowell 2008 Texas Qualifying the only time that NASCAR qualifying became interesting for many fans was thanks to Michael McDowell, who was involved in a spectacular crash that has become famous in the sport's history. Although the accident might have helped to increase McDowell's popularity. I kind of wiggled my toes and moved around a little bit. I realized that I wasn't hurt and climbed out, but you know, uh, the biggest thing that went through my mind was, oh man, I hope I don't get fired. It's also a testament to the safety improvements that NASCAR has made over the years. Despite the severity of the crash, McDowell was able to walk away from it and even gave a wave to the cheering fans. Elliott Sadler 2010 Pocono While Pocono Speedway is known for its uneventful races, it has also produced some of the most incredible wrecks in NASCAR history. One such wreck occurred in 2010 when Elliott Sadler crashed with a force of impact that ranks among the hardest in NASCAR history. There's the tap right there. Despite the severity of the crash, Sadler was able to walk away relatively unscathed, thanks to the safety measures implemented in NASCAR. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed it. Until next time.